Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, hey, my name is Katie. So, in today's video, we are going to be reviewing ColourPop's newest collection with Hocus Pocus. So I managed to get the Hocus Pocus palette, as well as one of the glitters. I got really lucky that I was even able to get my hands on this and honestly I knew that the collection was coming out but I had no intentions of really buying it if I'm being completely honest I was aware that it was it sold out there was like a whole big thing when it launched on the website and they had to push back the launch an extra day and then it sold out really quickly my best friend was telling me that she was really excited about getting the palette and that she wanted to go to Ulta to see if she could get her hands on the palette so I went with her and like I said I had no plans on actually getting the palette or getting anything to be honest with you but after seeing it um, I actually got really excited and she pretty much talked me into buying the palette. We're gonna go ahead and dive into this review. We're gonna play around with the palette and with the glitter. We're gonna talk about the packaging because the packaging honestly is freaking amazing and so cute. I don't even wanna throw it away. I kinda wanna keep this stuff as a collector's item if I'm being honest with you. We're gonna go ahead and swatch the colors as well. I am gonna do two different looks, an eye look on one eye and a different eye look on the other side and try to use as many shades as possible. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into the review and we're gonna go ahead and start off with the swatches. So the palette first looks like this and it is gorgeous. It is beautiful. It's like 3D. A lot of detail went into this packaging. On the back it has the shade names and it says gather around gather around sisters and it has the witch's pot to say the name of the shades. So when you open up the palette, you can definitely tell that there was detail inside the packaging as well. This is what the palette looks like. It looks very similar to the box and then as well as the back. It also has the shade names. When you open up the palette, you do see the nice drawing of the sisters on there and then the colors can we talk about the colors are so gorgeous and I do appreciate that the colors or the name of the shades are in front of the palette so it's a lot easier to say what color I'm using you don't have to go to the back and see what color it is that you're using so I do appreciate that the names of the shades are on the bottom and then in the front of the palette so you have some shimmers you have some glitters and you have some matte colors as well I have not swatched these yet so we're gonna go ahead and swatch them and then I'm gonna show you what they look like up close and then we're gonna play around with them so this is what the glitter looks like and yeah so that is what the glitter looks like so just know that when I swatch them like they don't always like sometimes shades don't really swatch very well but like you're wearing these shadows on your eyes and not on your arms so just because they swatch one way and not the best way doesn't mean that they're not going to be fabulous on the eye. I just like to swatch them because I know that there's some people who like to see the swatches. But you could really tell how a shadow is good by the way it performs, not by the way it swatches. So just an FYI. Some of these names I can't, I don't know how to pronounce, so just bear with me. We have Full Moon. We have Hello Salem. Brew Potion, On Toast, Coven, 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 Come Little Children, Tis Firm, Thackeray Binks, Yabos, I Call It a Bus, Wench, Night of Frolic, 
Dead Man's Toe, Bewitched, and Goodbye Cruel World. Now we're gonna go ahead and play around with the shadows. So I'm first gonna start off with my JH30 brush and I'm gonna be going in with the shade Hello Salem and I ended up putting it on both sides of my eyes to use more of a transition shade. Then I'm going to go in with my JH31 brush and going in with the shade on Toast. Next I'm taking my JH53 brush and going in with Brew Potion and then I realized it wasn't picking up so I ended up just going in with my finger with the glitter. Then I'm going in with my JH42 brush in the shade Full Moon and I am just putting that on my brow bone. And then I totally forgot to show off the shade, but then I grabbed in with the same brush, H42, and went in with the shade Wench. Then I went in with my JH35 brush and with the shade Night of Frolic on the outer corners of my eye. So that was look number one and now we're going to go ahead and move on to look number two on the other side. So I'm going to go in with my JH31 brush and I'm going in with the shade on toast. So going in with my R33 brush with the shade Dead Man's Toe, my favorite shade name in this palette by far. And then I'm taking my JH53 brush and going in with the shade Thackeray Sphinx and putting that all over my eyelid. Now going in with this random SB68 brush and going in the shade I Call It A Bus. I don't know where I got that brush from. I think it was from like an Ipsy bag or something like that but I'm just going in the shade in the outer corner of my eye. Then I'm gonna take the glitter and using my JH42 brush to put the glitter in my inner corner of my eye. And then I'm going to be taking my JH42 brush and putting the shade Wench on my brow bone. All right, so that includes the two looks. This side I did more of like the neutral colors from the palette and this side I did more of like the purples of the palette. So these are the two looks that I came up with. I'll put in pictures of close up so that way you guys can see a little bit more. So overall, I thought that this collection is perfect timing because we are in october halloween is literally around the corner and hocus pocus plays like at least three times a week on freeform so it's perfect for the season i love 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 the packaging that they did on this palette the color story i really like i actually like had so many ideas and then when it came down to like actually creating the looks I got I had a brain for it so I didn't know like what to do um, but maybe I can play around with this palette a little bit more if you guys like for the price I believe that the palette retails for like 22 bucks around there the price is very affordable which is what I like about Colourpop is that Colourpop is very affordable and their products are bomb for what you pay for you get good quality products I was a little bit nervous when I was going in with the shade um, on toast. I think I just went in a little bit too heavy and I got a little scared. And I was like, oh my god, I don't think this is going to work. It's going to be a little choppy. So I kind of got a little let down at first. But I was able to blend it in. So these shades are very blendable. They go on very easily. They're easy to work with. Um, with the glitter shade brew potion I went in with the brush but then I realized it's not picking up because it is a glitter it's not picking up as much as I would want it to so with that shade I would definitely go in with your finger instead as far as the glitter that I got I really like it I was trying to figure out how I can incorporate it without putting it all over my face but normally I would either 
probably put it like on my cheekbones or something if I was going to like a rave or festival. Um, so I just threw in the glitter in the inner corner of my eye. My overall thoughts is that I like the collection. If you're able to get your hands on it, if it does come out again or if you just so happen to walk into Ulta and it's there, I would definitely grab it if you don't want to use it on a daily basis. Just even getting it as a collector's item, I would highly recommend. I could understand why it's sold out. So there will be no video next week. Next week, I'm actually going to be taking a little break to celebrate my anniversary with my love bug. I want to take the week to just relax. I have a lot on my plate. Working two jobs and my school. My schedule has just been so hectic that this upcoming week um, is very special to me and I want to give my all into this anniversary so there will be no upload I apologize but we'll be back in two weeks with another Halloween look I'm thinking of doing like a clown glamorized um, Pennywise makeup look uh, my best friend told me to do that look so I'm thinking of doing that but if you guys want to see other looks feel free to leave comments down below of what Halloween looks you guys would want to see but if you liked today's video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down below of what was your favorite look my left side or my right side um, are you excited about this palette are you hoping to get your hands on this palette or are you even interested in this palette um, let me know in the comments below. Um, also, if you have any other ideas of looks that you guys want me to create for Halloween, let me know as well in the comments. Don't forget to share this video. And the most important thing is don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you're notified every time I upload, which is every Friday at 6.30 p.m. Except for next Friday, the 16th. I will not be uploading. So until next time, stay safe. I will see you guys soon. Bye.